Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa Ann Spencer and welcome back to the garden. Um, this is like almost the end of April. I think we've got one more day. So I wanted to do a quick video for the end of the month garden collaboration that I'm going to be participating in against again, not against, again this year. Um, and that is hosted, I think, still by Victoria over in the UK at Home, home Educating the Mad Lads. Boy, it's been a while since I've done this. Also, there's another lady in the UK. Um, she may be co-hosting, not sure, but her channel is homeschool something like this is the way it's done or something. <laughs> I should have done my homework before I started doing this. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, to all my gardening friends. Um, if you saw my last garden video, that was done at the end of September. We had just moved to this rental house in Brooks, Kentucky. I think I see my husband poking around in the sunroom. Um, so anyway, I uh, thought I'd jump on here before the month runs out and give you another tour of my backyard. You hear the train, I'm sure. Um, and talk to you while we're walking a little bit about some of the things that, well, that I accomplished or did not accomplish over the winter. I had big plans. Um, and some things turned out all right, so I'm just going to stop talking about it and um, take you for a walk. So here's where I was sitting under this little covered patio, and that was a good thing because it was kind of drizzling a little bit today. It's like 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's my little um, greenhouse window, and you can see we've really filled it up. We've got lots of violets, mostly like house plants, cactus, um, things like that. It's really good for that. I got my, some of my gardening things stacked up here uh, that I brought from Georgia, fertilizer, uh, garden tools. This is where Bunny's, she was, but when my husband built her a cage. Got a little table and chair here that we can sit and enjoy. So, um, I sowed some spinach seeds and they are actually coming up nicely, although not as many as I had hoped. I've got a few flowers planted here. Um, I see this one, you see? Oop, that's a four o'clock. And then I think there's a few daisies and bachelor's buttons and things like that. So we'll see what happens there. Here's my old, oop, cleaning his booty. That's my old 11 year old cat. He's been with us a long time. So my daughter last year bought me these um, hyacinths and they actually like survived and bloomed a little bit. Got quite a few pots here. Um, my turmeric root, I dug those up, so hopefully those survive the winter. Uh, I'll show you where I kept them. My Martin onions, those are an old family heirloom. I divided them recently into three pots. Here is some radish that I sowed, but they didn't germinate really well but I do have some more growing somewhere else, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, daisies, those are coming up, and that looks like a weed, not sure. Um, one of my leeks that I brought from Macon, and this is a um, pawpaw tree that I have grown from seed. Um, so here is something new. I bought this pop-up greenhouse like in September or October. Do you see that big pile of busted pots? That was a tragedy I'll tell you about. Ivory, there's my good old dog, except Sir barks a lot. This rolling planter with my strawberries from Georgia and some cherry tomatoes. Um, survived the winter in there and I've got a couple of sweet pea flowers growing there and it's starting to sprinkle again. 
um, parsley, I believe. Nope, cilantro. Some little bitty potatoes, like they were about this big, that I saved from Georgia and brought with us. So those are looking like they're doing really great. I've got two hanging baskets of nasturtium. And let's duck in here. I ordered this little pop-up greenhouse from Amazon. It's got a roll-up door that zips. It's got these two windows with flaps on them. I don't know if you can see, but underneath we had all those moving boxes. So we did several layers of moving boxes to insulate it. And then we screwed it down in the corners to the deck. So I have this shelf and this was full of all my plants over winter. I've since emptied it out. There's some basil growing. I've got it in here because we still have some cold weather. And there's some parsley, hopefully, coming up. Can you hear the rain? Um, so anyway, the story in here was those two pots right there were on top of this shelf right here. We had almost a tornado, not quite, but really high winds, which I'm survived, surprised this thing survived, but the shelf got knocked over and my two beautiful pots busted. They were, I had just sown them in seeds, so that was, that was ruined, of course. And can you see my old, this was my citrus tree and my palm tree, dead. They didn't survive the winter. They were in here. I had a heater trying to keep it at 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, um, but it got down to negative 10 degrees outside and my heater running full time just could not keep it. Um, warm and it dropped down to 26 degrees so those froze and died um, so I'm going to empty those pots out and plant some tomatoes there so let's take a walk in the rain there's my good old swing we really have a sweet little backyard here there's we got three chickens and they're each laying an egg a day uh, we had friends in Georgia that babysat, chicken sat, our chickens and our bunny for us and they came and visited a little while ago and brought those to us. So you see I made the old pool where the old swimming pool was. We made it into a fire pit because we had a couple of storms and this all came from our yard right here. It blew down so much dead wood. So this little spot back here I dug with a shovel and a hoe and prepared it. And I do have it sewn, though the dog keeps stomping on it. But you see there's a, some sweet peas coming up. Here's a butter bean. There's a couple of the butter beans and those. I've been teaching a co-op class, botany, and we, the kids and I grew some giant lima beans. So I sent them home with the kids, but we had extras. So that's what those are. Um, lettuces, mostly I just sprinkled like a mescaline mix. Um, so I've got a few sweet peas, a couple of lima beans, and some scattered lettuce here and there. And if the dog will stay out of it, I might actually get a little crop. And over here is our detached garage. And I didn't think I was going to use this because we have this tree here. And it does cast a lot of shade. But in October, it was very sunny, so I went ahead and planted my garlic. Um, that's what you see there. There's one leek right there that I brought from Georgia. So that's all hardneck garlic. And then back here, I sowed a few collard greens. So the, the leaves have budded out. I'm not sure how those will do. I did bring my compost bins from Georgia. And we've been here six months, and so this one is about half full. We produce a lot. <sighs> Helicopter. All right, so, oh yeah, let me take you in the garage because I do have a light um, system my husband set up for me. Hello. 
<laughs> Puppies bike riding. So right here is my little plant set up very similar to how it was in Macon. Um, I've turned this toolbox into like a garden box. That's worked out really nicely. And then I've got my lights and this nice shelf my husband built for me and my potting soils and things. So let's look. I got, um, this is peppers, eggplant. So those will take a long time to germinate. Uh, watermelon, and I actually see one. Um, and here's pumpkin, but also there was some Swiss chard seed that, um, there's my boy. I said, I said there goes that. There's my boy. Um, this is marigolds. That's my second round. And so there's a couple of marigolds there. Some Swiss chard, a couple of peppers, and then all this is tomatoes. See, here's Bunny in her new little hutch. And I think my husband's going to build her a little box today. The kids put a cardboard box in there, which she's just eating. So she needs a little area over there in the corner where she can get have some protection. She's got cover. She gets sunshine. She so hello bunny. She's so lovey. She just loves to be petted. You want baby? Yep. And she loves the dog too. My cat took my chair while I was gone. Alright, I got water, rain raining. Okay, well that's it for here. It's not a whole bunch to look at, but what I do have that I hope to show you is a community garden. Um, I was out driving one day going to the library and I passed this place and saw a big sign and it named the community garden. So I got in contact with them and said, you know, give me some information. So they have 30 by 30 plots for $25 for the whole year. So I thought, well, that's that's pretty easy decision to make. It's not too far of a drive from here. Um, it's not convenient, of course, to have to load up everything when I go over there, but they have a gardener who is there Monday morning, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So um, when he's there, they have a storage facility that's unlocked that has cultivators and tillers and shovels and chairs and hoes and water hoses. And um, so anyway, it's really neat. And I plan on driving over there today. I've got some errands to do, so I probably won't, you know, do too much chit chat. And there's really not much to see. I've got um, a couple of rows of herbs and flowers just sown. I just sowed some green beans, got a row of potatoes, and a row of carrots and radishes. So what I may do is just um, do, a, you know, some music in the background and let you have a quick look at that as we close and then by next month surely I'll have something interesting to show you out there. Well thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out the description box below because all the names are going to be correct down there for the ladies who are hosting this year and uh, also uh, others who participate. Some of the ladies like live up north and it's still too cold for them to garden so they might not have videos this month so keep checking back and I look forward to seeing you in the end of May.